Welcome to my Ollie Ollie world of finding the flow zone video for completing all of Gale Force's challenges. We're going to start off with South by East North, and we have to find and pop the inflatable cat. Now the inflatable cat is going to be on the Burley route, which is at the very end of the level, so I just kind of skip to it. You don't have to worry about doing this in one combo or without falling. Uh, you can get to the checkpoint closest and then do it from there. We're going to drop off that rail to the lower rail and take this path, which is the burly route. It's a pretty slow burly route. It's probably the slowest one in the whole DLC. But uh, Once you get to the end of it, you'll find the cat, and that'll be the end of the level. Next up is going to be Rainbow Rise, and you have to complete the Burly Route twice and then finish the level without slamming. Now this one's a little difficult, it's probably one of the harder ones out of all of them in my opinion. Um, really mainly because you have to you know, jump across uh, rails that fall away after you use them, so you have to use one the first time and then use one, you use the other one the second time. and. Um, I would recommend going for the little one on your first loop, so you have a much bigger target for your second loop, but you know, do it however you want, because um, you know, you cannot fall in this level, you have to do it all in one go, not one combo necessarily, but you know, just all in go. So right here, you're going to go in here, you're going to jump off this rail a little early so you can catch that tiny rail and get across. Now this is really fast here, so you have to be pretty quick with your ollies to make sure you don't hit any of those rocks and clear all the gaps. So that's the end of the first loop. So you're going to come back around again and you're going to have to do it again. And this time you have a much bigger rail to catch the second time. So it shouldn't be as hard. It should be a little bit easier, but granted I did miss this rail quite a few times because it's, you know, you still have to jump off early and whatnot. So just make your way around again and finish the level without falling. Easier said than done. And next up is Fly High Horizon. So on this one, you have to avoid all inflatable cats and kicker ramps and then finish the level. There's a lot of jumping over kicker ramps and then, you know, you it, like just like right there, it's, it's tough. So f do it the way I do it here in the beginning of the level just to get over those like three kicker ramps because those are probably the worst parts of the whole level. But I definitely, this one and the previous one were probably the hardest two for me out of all of them. Now you don't need to do this without falling, so if you make a mistake, just use your last checkpoint and continue on. As long as you don't touch any kicker ramps or cats, checkpoint to checkpoint, you'll be good. It'll save it, you know, from your previous checkpoint if you have to restart from that checkpoint. Now we're on east by west south, and on this one we have to find and complete the burly route without slamming. Now this burly route is pretty much at the end of the level, and this one is a little difficult. Um, you have to basically jump really early in order to get onto it. So take whichever route you want to get to the burly route, it doesn't really matter. I wouldn't recommend taking the gnarly route, 
Uh, I mean, it's not going to hurt you if you do. You just have to get through it without falling. So coming up here is where we need to pay attention. Because once we go down this wall right here in this checkpoint, um, we have to go across here and we have to jump early so that we can catch this uh, wind thing to go up. And then you're just going to make your way through the early route. Uh, and again, you know, burly roots are definitely harder than gnarly roots, but as long as you're just quick with your dollies, you should be okay. This one has crystal, so you gotta pay attention to that. Make sure you don't smash into them. And once you get to the end, you'll get your challenge complete. It also doesn't matter if you bail after you get the challenge completed like that, and you don't have to actually finish the level. It'll still count. Next up is upper space, and on this one we have to boop all the vultures and finish the level. Now again, you don't have to do this all in one go, you can use your checkpoints, um, but mainly you just have to control your speed. So we're going to hit this kicker first to clear all the way down to the rail to get those two vultures. Um, the next two, after this platform lowers a bit, you're going to ollie early and just firecracker the stairs. Just don't wall ride because they'll throw you off. Um, you don't need to wall ride that wall either, just jump straight to the rail to get those vultures. You're going to clear that gap to get that vulture. So this part, if you can slow yourself down, do it. Pop a couple manuals just to, you know, reduce your speed. Because this vulture is right on the edge of this rail, so you don't want to over jump him. So you're going to go down here, you're going to turn around with the wind. And then there's going to be two more vultures on the steps. You're just going to firecracker your way down. And this very last one, do not ollie off this rail at all. Just let yourself drop. You should land right on top of the vulture. You could possibly go over top of it. That has happened to me a couple times. But as long as you're not going super fast, you should land right on top of them. Next up is Weathering Flights, and on this one, you have to complete the level using no more than six wall rides. So the very first wall we come across, we are just going to completely skip. You can clear it from rail to rail, no problem. Uh, the next wall ride we are going to use. You cannot clear that gap without it. Uh, you're going to skip to the low rail here because the high rail takes you to wall rides that you can't use because you would go over. So you're going to go low, take the gnarly route. We're going to use this wall ride. And then the final three are these ones. Or no, this is three, four, and five, sorry. And then there will be one more wall ride that you have to use. Right here. Yep, and that should be six. And then just make your way to the end. Next up is going to be Hurricane Lane, and on this one you have to do exactly 15 grinds. So one, two, we're going to manual here. Make sure you're holding X as you're coming down the land so you do not grind. You want a manual. Uh, that's going to be three and four. And then we're going to firecracker down these steps. Then you should get five right here, and then we're going to go back up the rail, so that's six. This is going to be seven. And then manual. After these wall rides, you're going to do number eight. And then when you come back across this platform, you're going to drop down to the low platform. Do not grind. That's nine, ten, 
11, 12, manual. Thirteen and fourteen are going to be after those stairs. So here's thirteen and fourteen. Manual again, manual again, and then you're gonna go across this thing, back and forth, and your last grind will be right here. I was really low on speed, if you can tell. Now we're on to Dust Devil Direction. On this one, we need to smash all the crystals and high five the Hazard Queen three times without slamming. So you want to go up here so you can go backwards and go back down this way. Keep an eye on your crystals because they are quick and you got to make sure you smash into them. Now, I just want to mention, I have this clip muted here because somehow my microphone got unmuted and there was just a lot of background noise, like my children, and I just figured we'd just mute it. It's only for like a minute. Now coming up here, you could go up high if you wanted to, it's not necessary, so I would just recommend staying down low. Um, now coming up, we're going to come up to the queen right after we drop down here. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. You need to go up this way and you're going to cross these quarter pipes. You're going to go up here, you're going to grind these rails. And when you get up here onto this section, you need to switch lanes. So you go on the fur back, farther back quarter pipe. So it turns you back this way. So you, if you don't do that, it'll put you back and you'll high five the queen coming back that way. So this way it brings you back the opposite way. So you high five her and then you hit this quarter pipe and you high five her again. So that makes three times. So there it is. Now, again, you don't have to actually finish the level now. So it's up to you if you want to or not, but you completed the challenge. You don't have to finish. All right, up next is North by East West. And on this one, we need to complete the Burly route, performing only two grinds and finish the level. So the two grinds only counts on the Burly route, so don't worry about grinding uh, until you're on the Burly route. So I missed this first attempt here, but you can do this using checkpoints, so it's fine. Uh, but what you want to do is try to have as much speed as possible coming up to this, and you're going to want to even kind of go down on this rail a little bit to give you a little bit of extra oomph. And then you're going to want to ollie a couple times on these rails so you can keep your speed up, because you can't just grind them, you won't have enough speed. So once you get across there, you're just going to work your way across. Do not grind that rail. Don't grind this rail. Um, the only two rails that you can grind, you have to grind those rails to clear the gap, so you can't grind anything else. So we're going to go across here, we're going to manual, we're going to ollie, grind, grind, and then push and make it across that gap. You can't make it across that gap if you don't give a push there, it's just not going to happen. I tried over and over and over, I couldn't do it. Up next is Squirrel Wing Heights. On this one, you need to do a different special trick out of five wall rides without slamming. So do your harder ones first, like the ones like double kickflip, double heel flip, or like the strawberry milkshake, the ones where you have to like go up and back, like a, you know, semi-circle one way, semi-circle back the other way. They're just harder to get off. And then um, do another one that you're pretty comfortable with as your third one. And then your final two, I uh, use the 720 flip and the south flip because they're just really easy to get off. It's just like a full double spin with the stick. Even the impossibles are pretty easy to get off because they're just full double spin with the stick. Just different starting positions. So the last two are back to back. So you have to do the one onto the next one like that and then do your thing off. 
And again, I didn't even land it and it still counted, so. Up next is West by Northeast. On this one, we need to finish the level using only four wall rides. And this seems like it's really hard, but it's actually pretty easy. So this first two wall rides, you're just gonna wall ride the top one, let the wind blow you back and grind that rail. Uh, you have to wall ride that, you can't clear the gap otherwise. So that's two down already. Um, I do this rail section like this. You don't have to do it this way. You can go up top if you want to. There's no real reason not to. Um, but that's just the way I do it. I think there is a wall right up there though, so you don't want to go all the way. You definitely want to drop down at some point. Now this part here has some steps, so just make sure you don't wall ride on accident. I just firecracker the stairs and grind the rails so you can get across. You have to wall ride that, so make sure you do that. And then the very last wall ride is a double one. And then you skip the first one, wall ride the second one. And then that's the finish. Up next is Frogmore Peak, and this is another wall ride one. Seven wall rides and finish the level without slamming. So here, you want to skip the rail and switch lanes as soon as you land. You have to switch lanes because you have to use... You have to do both gnarly and burly paths in order to get all the wall rides. So there's literally, I think, only seven wall rides, so you have to you have to do both paths. Um, now, also a little fun fact with this level: if you see up in the top corner there, I don't have the third high score or the third local hero, whatever score. I didn't realize I didn't get it. It's not even high. It's like eighty-seven thousand points. But I just didn't realize I didn't get it, so like, I end up coming back here at the very end of this video to pop the final trophy for this DLC. So anyway, just, you know, a little side note there. But basically, you're just going to follow your way down here, and you're just going to wall ride the wall rides as they come across, because you pretty much have to wall ride all of them. Now here, right there, you're going to drop down from that wall ride in order to get to the burly path, and then, you know, just follow the burly path. to the end. Up next is going to be Radlanta City Gates, and it's smashed the crystals with four different grabs. So this one's pretty simple as well. Uh, you just need to make sure you go down the crystal path, because the crystals are only on a certain path. They're on the burly path, I think. Um, but it's pretty much towards the end of the level, so we just gotta make our way there. So I guess I should probably mention, I just played this game on my own. I my channel here, I usually do like, you know, playthroughs and get all the trophies, 100% games. Uh, but this one, I just decided to just play on my own, just in my free time when I can just play games and can't record because I have children. So, uh, yeah, I didn't actually do like a playthrough of this. This is the only video of Ollie Ollie World on my channel. I am going to do this for the other DLC as well, the Into the Void, or whatever that one is. Void Walkers, whatever, I don't know. But anyway. Uh, I just wanted to mention that. Now here's the tricky part. You need to break this crystal here, and that's one of the crystals, so make sure you don't do the same grab for those next three crystals. Just switch up your grabs. Just, you know, do left, right, up, down. It's really easy. And then the final one's right there. Don't forget that. When you go up that wind, make sure you're holding a grab, because you'll smash your face on that, or smash the top of your head, and you'll fail. So again, didn't even finish, because it doesn't matter. Alright, next is Tour of the Cold Wind. This one is a use all the wall rides and finish the level without slamming. So we basically just need to make it all the way around the Burly Path, the Gnarly Path, and get all of the wall rides. It's not too hard, to be honest. Like, 
This level's actually kind of cool, in my opinion. So our burly path is going to be first. After we go up these rails here and cross this wall ride, we're going to jump off this rail early to get this low rail to take us to the high rail to get across to the wind that takes us up to the burly route. Now, depending on how fast you came up here, you might be hauling ass right there. So just, you know, be quick with your ollies because you'll probably slam. So anyway, make your way across and grind up this big rail. Make sure you stay up, break the crystals, wall ride the wall ride, the rail, do not break this crystal. Ollie across and just stay up here. There's another wall ride up here. And then make your way back down to the main route. Just make sure you don't hit any of that debris laying in the road. Now, we're going to just take this rail all the way up now to get this wall ride. And then take the low rails to make our way through here. A couple more wall rides. Now we have a little bit of a tricky section coming up here. We're going to have to ollie early to clear that kicker and then ollie again to get it in the wind to go up here. You're going to have to wall ride your way across. You will get turned around but jump down to the low rail. Wall ride. And then you'll hit a quarter pipe. You'll get back. I don't know that you have to wall ride it going back but I just did it anyway because it's easiest. And then that should be finished after this wall ride. Next is going to be Temple of the Four Winds. This is tweak 14 grads without slamming. Now you have plenty of time. You can pull off two right there. You can pull off another one right here. And then you can pull off three in the same air right here. So that should be six that we're up to already. I do another one right here, so that's seven. And then I take the uh, burly route here because it has a lot of chance to get grabs in. So there's eight. Nine and ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. And fourteen is right here. And then again, we popped it, so it doesn't matter if we finish or not. Next is going to be Palace of the Old North Prince, whatever. Pop at least 35 inflatable bananas and finish the level without slamming. Now you don't have to get every single banana, so don't freak out. Just try to get as many as possible. Um, there's definitely more than 35, so just make sure you're getting as many as possible in the areas that they're collected. Uh, right here, you're going to want to go up. Well, after you break through that crystal, you're going to go up here. Get those four bananas, get these six bananas, get these five bananas, two bananas. Like, so many bananas. It's hilarious. All right, now coming up here, you're going to have a little bit of a section. We're going to go down this rail, and we're going to hold a grab. So we go through the crystal, and then you're going to ollie across to get those four bananas. And then there's another set of bananas coming up right here. Six bananas. And then that is the end. So that should be all challenges. And if you had everything else, you should pop your trophy right there. I did not though, because I didn't realize I was missing this high score. So went back and did it and we popped our trophy. Now stay tuned if you, I should get the other video up within relatively close time to this one. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in my next video. Have a good one.